Hi, Ben Johnson here to record this week's High Tech Friday. This week I'm going to show you how to grade papers electronically faster and provide better feedback to students than you could, say, with paper and pen. Plus, you'll save a lot of paper and students will actually be able to read your comments. So, um, obviously this takes place in Google Docs, which I have in front of me. Your students will submit Google Docs to you, preferably through the Google Classroom, which I'll, I'll demo at the end of this tutorial. But um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just have you open up a, a Google Doc and you can title it Cheat Sheet, um, whatever you want to call it. And the way this works is in Google Docs under the Tools, you can go to Preferences. So it's Tools, Preferences. And you may not know it, but you can have an auto replace occur. And you can see here I've already programmed some in. So before you begin to grade the assignment, you'll need to um, sit down and do this, and you'll be able to reuse it on all of your future assignments. And here I'm pretending to be a language arts teacher, but you could do this with math, with science, whatever subject that you're teaching. So what you do is you type a few characters that you're going to use for your shorthand. So maybe it's an apostrophe error. So my little code will be AE. It just needs to be something you wouldn't normally type by itself. And AE, I think, is OK. And then over here, um, what do you want that to be replaced with? Well, I could type my own paragraph here, or I could simply come to a website that has an explanation of that error and just simply copy and paste that into this box. And so now when I'm grading students' papers, if I see a, an apostrophe error, which is common, I can just type AE and magically this statement will appear on the student's paper inside of green bars so they know that it's a comment. Now, in addition to that, if you wanted to provide them the link, um, you could provide them the link to this page instead. So I'll just demo what that might look like. So let's see if I can find another error that uh, I've not yet covered. Maybe using dashes, um, there's a problem with that. So here maybe I'll title that, that one um, DA for dashes. And then maybe I'll just type using dashes error. And then here, if I just want this address, I can just copy it and paste it here. So if you know of some website or a video that explains um, this common mistake that your students are making, you can just go ahead and add it. Okay, so here's the neat part. After you get these all entered, as you're grading students' papers, and you see that uh, they've made a mistake, they say, um, your, when they meant to just say your without the apostrophe. As the teacher, all you need to do simply now, in fact, let me turn on the, uh, in Google Docs, they don't have track changes. They have what's called suggesting. And it's over here in this menu. And I just need to turn on suggesting. And now as the teacher, I just simply type AE, press Enter. And you can see that apostrophe indicates a possession for nouns, and it gives the student the explanation. So any of those mistakes um, that I made, I could just go ahead and um, type here. Maybe a student does uh, basketball, which would be a dash error. Um, so again, as the teacher, I would just type in DA, and it puts in that uh, mistake and the link to the website. So when I was grading papers, 80% of the errors that students made were in common throughout all of the papers. And so rather than have to make the same sort of comment on every single paper, I would just store those in my preferences of my Google Doc and quickly grade those papers along with turning on the suggesting here. Okay, now, what if, let me turn off the suggesting now, and we'll just accept that. What if you forget about your preferences that you set up? Well, not a problem. You just go ahead and go to the tools, go to your preferences. It's going to show you all those shortcuts that you made. Now you just simply need to snap a picture of them with the snipping tool. And I'll show you how to do that. 
So you just open the snipping tool from the uh, start menu and you just type in snipping tool or you click on the snipping tool. And I'll just simply click new. And I can just click a picture of that, copy it, and then I can just simply paste that onto my Google Doc and now I can print a hard copy and uh, paste it on the side of my computer screen or keep it in a handy location. Okay, And now if all of my shortcuts didn't fit on the single piece of paper, I could just uh, take more screenshots. Okay, So that's the first half of our, our class today. And now I'll record the second half, which is just how you would use this with the Google Classroom.